Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today so far. So, what we did, we finished the experiment that I posted yesterday. Uh, so what I want you guys to do is, I'll, I will actually extend that due date for another day uh, for the reaction, or uh, the rate of reaction experiment. Okay, so that will be due tomorrow, okay? On top of that, what we started to talk about was a little bit of molarity. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, what molarity actually looks like uh, and uh, do a little presentation, take a little notes. Okay, so molarity is actually the measure of concentration of a solution. Okay, while there's diluted and concentrated. So when I say dilute, that means less solute, right? Solute means solid, so less solid, and concentrated means more solid, okay? And this is the equation, okay? Moles is equal, to, uh, um, I'm sorry, molarity, molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. So let's try molarity is equal to moles over liters. So let's try this. Let's try this out. What is the molarity of a solution that has 1.5 moles of salt in enough water to make a 2 liter solution? Well, looking at the equation, all you have to do is do moles divided by liters. 1.5 divided by 2. Your answer should be 0.75. Okay. Let's try another one. What is the molarity of a solution made up of dissolving 0 0.250 moles of sucrose in enough water to make a 100 milliliter solution? Step one, check my units. Well, this is in milliliters. I gotta convert that to liters first. So to convert that to liters, you move the decimal over three spots to the left. So you're gonna have 0 0.250 divided by 0.5. One liter, and you end up with your answer in molarity. Okay. All right, let's try. No. Okay. How many moles are in a solute that is three liters and one point five molarity? Okay, so my units are good. So that's how you set it up. So one point five is equal to x moles over three liters. So how do you get your answer is since three is in the denominator, you have to put three in the numerator by multiplying by three. So when you multiply by three on each side, the left turns to 4.5 and the two threes will cancel out. Okay. Try this problem on your own. All right? If you need to pause the video, I would pause it now and try it out. Okay, so Hopefully you guys were able to figure this out, and here's your answer. Okay. One last type of problem, calculating grams. Okay, this is going back to like chapter two, holy smokes, but I believe in you guys, all right? It's been a minute since we learned this, uh, but we're going to talk about finding grams, okay? So how many grams of sodium chloride in, uh, the so the molarity of sodium or the molar mass is 58.443 grams. Would be needed of 0 0.25 liters. So there's a lot of information. So first you have to find the moles. So molarity is equal to moles over liters. So that's how you would set it up. And your moles would be 0.75. Now we gotta use our molar mass over here to calculate grams. Well, we gotta do the railroad track. If we have moles on top, we're going to have moles on the bottom. All right, so it's going to be crisscross, right? That is not set up right. I was trying to find that. So grams should have actually been on the bottom, and moles should have been on top. Okay? I flip flopped those. Um, but the answer is still correct, okay? Your answer should be 43 grams, okay?
Okay. Try one more. Has anyone ever used it in All right. Okay. If you need to pause it, you can pause it. All right. Here's how you do it. All right. How would we make one? So first, you would have to solve for the amount of moles. Right? And then solve for the amount of grams, and that is 58 grams. So for every one liter, you need 58 grams. Okay. That was kind of a lot of information all at once. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, we're going to be dealing with malaria tomorrow as well. Um, but for today, uh, just take the notes and, and complete the... Uh, rate of solution experiment okay if you have any questions please email me if not have a great day